What's up, everybody? I want y'all to listen. Y'all hear that? Hear all the crickets and all the sounds of the bugs? That's what it's like out in the country. So stick with me, okay? I don't want to talk too loud or the all the bugs and the cool sounds that are in the backdrop might go away, right? Let's see. Hey everybody, it's Chad here. We're here at Merchant Chevrolet today. We're gonna to be taking a look at, right behind me, the 2017 Chevy Tahoe Z71. Stay tuned, let's get this party started. All right, everybody, we're doing something a little different today. We're gonna to be looking at the Z71 Tahoe, and I will be going around this vehicle on the outside, checking it out, interior, checking it out, and I'm also gonna show you why the pricing structure at Marchant Chevrolet is some of the best for a new Chevy if you live in the Carolinas. So this again is the Z71 Tahoe. We have not reviewed the 2017 Tahoe Z71 on the channel yet, and we're doing that today. So make sure you stay with us because this is one good looking Tahoe. And there's a lot of y'all out there that will be buying a Z71 and you're gonna wanna know a little more detailed information about this vehicle. Now what I can tell you is I'm no expert on these vehicles. This is my first time literally even touching the Z71 2017 Tahoe, okay? So again, my reviews are different than others out there. Some people read and watch videos and just get crazy with it and learn as much as they can and then do a video. Me is more of a reaction, my first thoughts of the vehicle, okay? So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> And you know, some vehicles I do study a bunch about and things like that, but again, I like to do things my way and it's more of like a reaction walk around video first time, just like if you were at the lot looking at it yourself, looking at it yourself. So um, front end's looking good. You know, so one thing I like about it, it's black. It's got the blacked out Chevy logo there, the blacked out honeycomb grill, which looks really sporty. Even got some black going on in the housing here. And when I get a minute, I'll pop the headlights on and all and let y'all see some of the lighting on this vehicle. And then when winter time comes, and after this summer right here, I'll be doing some night reviews on these vehicles out here. If you're interested in night reviews, you're more than welcome though to check out the channel. There's already some up on there as of uh, today. So anyways. One thing uh, that's a little different on the uh, Z71 is the wheels, okay? These go good with the paint, they're black. You got your Wrangler BF Goodrich, or, or Goodyear Wrangler tires, good looking wheels. Tires look pretty good too. They're a 265-35 series with a 16 inch wheel right there. You got the running boards that go down the side of the Tahoe, which is nice. A lot of cool stuff there. Um, the roof racks up top, the Z71 badge on the side. Take a look at the back. There you go. And let's take a look at the rear. So, I mean, right off the get-go, when I pulled in today, I seen this uh, Tahoe sitting out there, and I said, that's a Z71. I haven't got to film it. I'm excited. You know, you could tell because it just, it sits up a little higher up off the ground, and it just has a little more aggressive, beefy look about it. Here's the key right here. So, let's try out the remote start so we can go ahead and get the vehicle cooled off. Um, I always seem to lock the car and then hit this twice. Okay, nope, you don't have to hit it twice. See, you don't have to hit it twice with a Chevrolet. Forward, you do. This, you just hold down for five seconds. <laughs> Not having much luck. All right, lock the car. Now let's try to hold it down. There we go. Okay, so it's kind of a sequence you got to go through on that, right? Somebody made a comment on my channel saying, oh, the smart key, you know, just might not be for you, you know. Well, no, it is. I've, I've done this a lot, okay. It just every vehicle is a little different. So, let's go ahead and look at the lighting while we're out here. Taillights pretty sweet setup on the lights on the taillights. I like how it's illuminated and all. Uh, it looks like it has LED lighting back here. I'm not exactly sure though, so I'm not going to say that. I mean, it kind of looks like it, but then I see a bul big bulb up here and there. I think there's just a few bulbs in there to kind of uh, illuminate that area there. Up underneath though, for lighting. You do have your uh, your standard halogen look <laughs> lights under here. No LED, okay? I will tell you that. Chevy just hasn't really got into all the LED lighting yet that I know of in all the different areas. 
they do have it but just not in all the different areas there's another brand with our ford store down the street where you look at a ford and the led lighting is like all over the place even up under there it's crazy but anyways um the back of the tahoe take a look back here now again once i'm going to tell you if you got the third row seats up and you got people sitting back there that's great you're using the seats they're they're functional for you but if you don't need the third rows i would advise you to just drop them down and uh, and have them sitting flat because you don't have a whole lot of space in the back of a tahoe with the third rows up okay um it is nice though how they have the power feature here Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button and dropped that seat down over there. Okay, so you can drop the second row seats down from the back. That's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, and before I do that, let's see if I can get this to go down because I can't really demonstrate that feature. Well, I'll just do it on this side. It's hard to do this stuff sometimes when you only have one, one hand. Okay, not having much luck. I guess you got to press down and that's what does down. So anyways, you can kind of get a glimpse of how much room you'll have with the third rows down. Or, you know, if you needed a little seat in the back, have that one up and drop that one down. You got more room. And then, uh, this is some kind of netting system, but there is some storage space down in there as well. As you can see. Okay. Tie downs, all that, cup holders, boom, 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 boom. Uh, where's your lighting in the back if you want to be able to light this area up when you're loading and unloading things? Don't see any. How about that? Don't see any. I see lights up there. There are also, those are actually LED up there. But where's our light in the back for back here? Isn't that weird? Okay. We're looking for it. I guess. I guess Chevrolet left out lighting for your trunk. Isn't that weird? I don't see it, folks. It's, it would typically be right up here somewhere, or maybe even on the sides or right above, but it, they don't have anything for lighting in the back. So I'm guessing they're just using those LEDs in the back right back there. But again, nothing really directly in the back to light that up. All right. Keep looking around. Have you ever wondered, is there a windshield wiper for the back window on the Tahoe? And where is it? Well, it does have a wiper and it actually sits right up here. I know it's tough to see, but there's an actual wiper blade sitting right there for you. And uh, on your remote here, you can hit this twice and open up this part. Well, holy mackerel. Okay, I didn't ask you to do that. Hold on. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, that was the full. There we go. See what I'm talking about? Look, there's your wiper on your Tahoe. I love how Chevy did that. It keeps it nice and clean. This goes to the uh, rear defrost. And then your third, yeah, your light up there. Oh man, all right. Let's take a look at the interior. I guess it would help to unlock, wouldn't it, Chad? Oh! All right, here we go. Take a look. Bow, wow, wow, wow. Leather all over in here. Looks good. Wind trib, power windows, power mirrors, power seats, memory seats, Bose stereo system, Z71 badge, power seats. <laughs> How many times did I just say that? Power lumbar, leather. Not perforated with the holes in it, but still a very comfortable seat to sit in. Sunroof. No panoramic glass sunroof on here, okay? Just want to point that out. Let's look in the back seats. That looks kind of cool. Look at all the little cubby hole spots and things. And I like how they've added a nice, decent sized cup holder right there. That's cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can bring that back up. I liked how that was power. I like how you have your uh, Captain Row seating right back here. And uh, one moment. All right, back with you. Um, yeah, I'm liking all this. The rubber mats are nice. And I like the Captain Row seating in the back, which is great if you have kids kind of give them give them a little separation here and at the same time you got a nice little walk through through the middle there to get to the third rows but you know what sometimes it's nice to have a center seat there if the kids are playing a game together or something like that to be able to sit right next to each other um, LED lighting up on, all over on top in your uh, headliner there for your reading lights or whatever you got going on you know at nighttime um, you do have a uh, you have a 110 volt, 150 watt outlet here, which is great. A 12 volt over here, two and heated seats in the rear and rear air controls in the back. 
You still have your map holders right there, or I call them iPad tablet holders. Solid, you can hear that. Nice and solid. Uh, let's hop in on the inside, take a look around. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Nice and comfortable in the seat. Let's close the door. Wow, that door is solid. And um, when you get inside, because it's been remote started right now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your foot on the brake and hit the engine start stop button. And now she's fully alive and well. Um, leather on the steering wheel feels nice. I like that. Got your four wheel drive over here. Got all your cool little options for doing that kind of stuff. A nice LCD screen through the middle there, as you can see. It's in demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. I always seem to like her voice. It's very soothing, and she just sounds really hot. But, anyways, <laughs> it's a computer, right? Anyways, anyways. Nice little setup in here with all your little uh, apps and things like that. It tells you the temperature. Um, let's take a look at our backup camera for a minute. Put it in reverse. There you go. There's your backup camera. And uh, when you when you seen that little exclamation thing beep in there, it actually vibrated my seat, which is, that's what it's doing right now. And it's giving me some notifications right in here. Give it a second. Three, two, and one. Beep, beep. It's letting me know I'm a little too close to something back there. And again, I like how it's kind of buzzing the seat. It really kind of alerts you to what's going on. Um, these look nice. Not too many buttons. Um, when I was in a Ford earlier, there was just a ton of buttons in it. I like how they've kind of narrowed things down a little bit. Um, you got your heated seats. Uh, the only thing I, I would like to see in here is cooled seats. But I guess they didn't add that on for the 2017. Um, two USB ports right there and a 12 volt I would think 12 volt outlets are really kind of going away um, I guess that's a CD player right there maybe it's a little indention maybe that's a CD player not sure and uh, there's no more camera views you just get that uh, it does move when you turn the steering wheel okay the guidelines move but again no more camera views you just got that one view there I really think with a Z71 they need to have a camera view that looks down so uh, when you're hooking up a trailer for a boat you got that set away okay all right anyways maybe there was more views for the for the backup camera I don't know I just again I don't see any options on the screen there and they don't have like a camera button or anything to push to get different views and I didn't see any extra cameras in the back. You do have OnStar, you do have sunglass holders for those Maui Gems or Ray-Bans, or you can use that as a, uh, a little setup there to see the kids. Sunroof's nice and big. Center console here, tons of room, two more USBs, two more, an auxiliary port, another 12 volt. So right in the front, you have a total of four USBs, one auxiliary, and two 12 volts. And it's massive down there. And there is a little light in there, if you can see it right there, to kind of light that up at nighttime. I do not, it doesn't feel like it has any air blowing in here to keep it cool if you throw a bottle of Gatorade in. Um, I've always kind of been curious of what this is. I'm assuming this is so you can maybe charge a phone right here. Nah, I don't know about that. I think this, yeah, they, okay. This is not for charging phone. This is grippy right here, so your phone can sit on that and uh, and not slide around. That's what it seems like. But then it has like that little logo there that makes me think it's a charging port. I really don't know. It's kind of odd. I don't know. I really don't know. That's something I want to research. More buttons, more controls. All that good stuff. Let's see if they added in LED lights in your uh, vanity mirrors. Actually, well, I'm not, not sure on that. I don't know if those are LED. They might, they look like little LED lights in there. Not sure. Anyways, all right. Let's take it for a quick spin, pull it up front, and let's take one last look at this beautiful, beautiful Z71 Tahoe at Marchant Chevy. I got it in drive, so let's hit the gas. I've, I've noticed when I hit the gas pedal on this vehicle when I pulled it back here earlier, um, it just doesn't seem to want to go as quick. I guess I guess you got you can't be a little wuss with it. You got to hit the pedal and go. Feels good. It definitely is quiet inside the cabin. That's for sure. So sound detonating is good. 
steering feels good it seems to be pretty easy to drive one thing I like about it it's good looking that's for sure it's a good looking vehicle let's pull it up right here and take a look one last time oh, I definitely want to show you all the headlights how they light up and all let's go ahead and cut them on press that down that'll cut your fogs on see right here She's in park. Let's hop out. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Fog lights on the bottom. You got your LED light strip going through there. Projector headlamp. Very nice. So that's about it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video on the Z71 Tahoe at March Chevrolet. If you're interested in buying one, come on down and see us in Ravenel, South Carolina. That's 15 minutes outside of Charleston. And uh, you can also visit us online. Like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And always visit us at MarchantChevy.com. Uh, you know, all new vehicles, even this one right here, $98 over factory invoice. Um, that's the last thing I want to just quickly go over is the price because that's really, what's really important is price. As you can see what I just said, so MSRP on this one is 64,660. 98 over invoice is 61,986. If there was a rebate, you would get that as well. And again, upfront invoice pricing, no closing fees, no dog fees, no admin fees, no aspirin needed at all at Marchant Chevrolet. Good safety ratings. I mean, this is all the good information right here, 5.3 liter V8, four wheel drive. Come on down and see me at Margin Chevy. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless Charleston Car Videos. We'll see you soon.